Hi everyone! For the project today, you will need both Adi, the pro and the king, and a notebook, a crochet number four, a yarn needle, and a pen. Now I'll start with cast on. I will cast on five rows with waist yarn by going one in the front, one in the back for the first row. Then I crank the machine. I stuck a little bit, but it's okay. The machine was too far from me, that's why. Okay, so I will continue. So I did my five row. I add my color for this yarn. I use rule <coughs> tweed. Oceanic. So I put the yarn just in the next needle like this and I crank. So this will be the thumbs of my mitten. Continue to crank. I have to count my row because my, uh, my counter is down. <laughs> I have to, to change it. So I will count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Thirteen. Cut the yarn, and I will continue with some waist yarn. I put that next to the other, the other one. Put it directly in the yarn feeder and crank. So it's done for five rows rows of waist yarn and now continue to crank so it will cast off from the machine cast off <coughs> so I stretch 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 put that aside grab the other one so I continue with the Adi King size, 46 needle. I, I cast on the machine, one in the front, one in the back, for the first row. Open the yarn feeder, and now just crank five rows. rows done put your tail in the middle continue with your new yarn put the tail in the middle close the yarn feeder and crank make sure everything's fine oh I have one stitch that that is drop and just gonna pull that loop put it again on the needle and I will be ready to go sometime it's happen happen So we reach 
48 rows. with our blue yarn put the tail in the middle and we will continue with the waist yarn five rows and time to stretch it now we'll start with the thumbs I go get one side with a crochet number four and the other side one side and the other side if it's too fast for you I have another video that is slower on my channel or from your YouTube you could slow it for for yourself if you want to so I continue Almost at the end. Time to close the tube. And then the last stitch. And I grab my tail and close the work. To remove the waist yarn, you have to remove the first line by pulling on it like this. Both sides are not the same. One side is always easier than the other one because there's a start and an ended knitting on it. So that's why it's different. So I will prepare my yarn needle and I will, not my yarn needle, my crochet. And I will do the same thing for this side to close both, both sides of my tube. I repeat the same thing, same technique, one side and then the other. Keep going. Grab the last stitch, close it with the tail, there. See this side is different. I will have to remove the first row first, not the first but the last row. No, it's the first row, because this is the first row. So I have to remove this one. And after that, I will be able to remove everything. A little bit more time consuming this part. But I want to keep my waist yarn for another project. So I do it. And when you're done, you always check if you don't have any drop stitch put that aside and we'll do the same thing with the large tube do the same <coughs> grab one side and the other side with the crochet number four
commence à bien. <coughs> Take your tail and close it. And remove the waist yarn. Almost done. And remove the waist yarn. So I have my two markers. For this project I decided to take two red ones so it will be easier to see on the camera. Keep my little back not too far. So I will start with the smaller piece. Go get one. You go in the middle <coughs> in the middle of your stitches. Grab one and go the other side. Don't worry if it's loose because we're going to pull on the, the yarn after and it will uh, fix everything. Like magic. <laughs> Time to pull and it's fixed everything. Check. Now I will close this hole. Hide my yarn first. to close it very tight I 
pass through a couple of times I do a knot like this if I turn it it looks nice also so this part is ready I will hide the yarn and we'll use it to attach it on the, the rest of the mitten Make sure everything is fine. Attach it. Make sure it's not twisted. And I will do like I did for the thumb. Thumbs. Like this. And the other way. And the other side. Those still are bugging me, so I'm gonna put it inside for now. And I will continue. Grab one side, grab two, one, two, the other side. And I do the same thing. And like I did, I said for the thumbs, don't worry if it's loose, we're gonna pull on it after and it will straight everything up and it will be perfect. Pull. Now we continue. Now I will fit my 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 end first. Look okay. I pinch it there, and I will put my uh, markers over there. There I go. I do a knot. Knot is done. And hide the yarn between the two layers. Cut. Always be careful to not cut your project. And I will do the same thing the other, the other side. So there is nine rows between my two markers to keep space for my thumbs. So attach both sides together, do a knot and I will continue to sew like I did one side and the other side. I grab two stitches in the middle of the V and I continue. This uh, mitten took me like an hour just to figure out the numbers and to make it like the right size. It gives you an idea how, how much time it took to, to do a pair. I yeah, have to do a trial and error. <laughs> You, you will be lucky to have all the numbers like, right away in your face. <laughs> you didn't have that. So I pull. 
and I will continue almost at the markers this one and I will remove attach it again and I always try to make everything secure and hide my little piece of yarn in the middle of the two layer and one left time to close the, the finger part I don't go like every stitch because if you do that it's gonna be all cramped and won't look good so if you keep like a three or five stitches between them will be better time to pull and do a knot if it's all clumsy like this and you don't like it you go and you grab uh, stitches like a little bit higher and when you're gonna pull on it it's gonna fix that trouble it's gonna look better a little trick here see it look better now now look better close it and cut it and I do those little <coughs> yarn between the two layer cut it and again do the same I keep this one to attach my uh, thumbs so I will hide this one between the two layer of the thumbs it's gone cut the yarn and attach it on the mitten Remove the marker and I will attach it. I will grab one full stitch on the mitten and one full stitch the other side on the thumbs and I keep the same column column or row I don't know how to say it but I keep the same place all the time so that way it won't go like one side more than the other one and I don't tighten anything for now I will pull on it after like this make a nice finish look you look better now you could see that I grab two and I go grab a full stitch there 
one, two, and a full stitch there. Keep going. And a full stitch. <coughs> Sorry. And before you do your knot or cutting your yarn, put your ends in the mitten to stretch a little bit the thumbs part just in case it's too tight. So that way you won't have any uh, surprise that you don't like. There you go. So I put my hands in it. I will check if I have to stretch a little bit my thumbs. I have to, so it's done. Ta-da! My mitten is finished. I really like it. I like my sewing part, but I have a little hole here. I will do a knot for this side and I will go fix the bottom of it. There. There's a little hole. It's always uh, time to fix it. I will just go and tight it a little bit. There. It's done. And do a little knot. And voila, it's done for tonight. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm always happy to see how many people I could help with one video. So if you have any question or idea, just post it in the comment section and you could come and see me in one of our knitting, adding knitting group. Ciao, ciao. Have a nice night.